Hello, my name is Tom, and in this video I will solve square cells puzzle number 15. Again, we start off by oops, marking the group clues, and um, the uh, clues at the top of the board don't help yet at all. Um, but let's look at the uh, clues for the rows. Um, it looks like you can't really deduce anything from them, but in fact you can. If you look at this clue here, you have five squares in this row of six squares. So there is one gap somewhere. The gap obviously cannot be here, because if this square was deleted, then I would have to connect these two groups of three connected squares here, which I can't, because I will have five squares altogether. So this one cannot be a gap, um, it has to be marked, and the same applies here. This one can also not be a gap, um, I also have to mark this one. Now I have one more square that will complete either this group here, or this group here on that side. That means, let's for instance, if this one was uh, um, completed, I would need one more a square either here or here, but here I can't use it um, because it would touch the group of seven connected squares, right? Um, so I can delete this square for sure. Um, if I had a square here and complete this group of three connected squares here, then the uh, one connected square could be here or here. So um, I can't have one of the, uh, like this one separate square also in this position or in this position, because let me show you again, these are valid solutions, or this is a valid solution. I can't have the separate square in either of those two squares. So let's unmark this and delete those two squares. <coughs> now let's look uh, at the bottom row because we have the, ba the same basic principle uh, here. I need. Uh, I only have three squares all together in this row. Um, so the third square that I have to add to these two is either here completing this group, or here completing this group, or here completing this group, or here completing this group, like that. So that means um, I need one more square in this row to complete the other group correspondingly. Let's see, if I have a square in here, I would need the top square here. The same applies for this one, it would have to be here. And if I have this group completed in this row, then I would need a square in here. And the same is true for this uh, uh, variation, or option, or whatever. So that means, first of all, that uh, these are the only valid positions for this one separate square, so I can delete all of the remaining squares, like this. Okay, now um, we need to look at this column clue here. Um, that's the only one that helps in this position, because we have three squares all in all for this row, and if I positioned this square here, that would mean I have to delete all of these squares, and the group of seven squares would be cut off from the squares that it needs, right? There would only be two squares available here. So this one must be deleted. It can't be part of the solution. The same is true on this side of the puzzle. Um, if I mark this one here, I would have to delete those two squares. And again, I would only have two squares for this group of two, uh, for this group of seven connected squares. So I can also delete this square. Okay. Um, here I can see now that I have to complete the group of three connected squares like this. And I can delete this square. So now um, I don't yet know where to put the uh, uh, one separate square, right? Um, it could be here or it could be here. Wait. Um, can I deduce this? Is this possible? Yes. Oh, yes. Wait. Here. In this uh, column, I need to put this on this row. I need to put the one square that I have in here because this one was deleted already. So I can delete this square and this square. Um, that means the group of two connected squares is completed. And I can delete this square. 
So this group of two connected squares can only move into this direction and thus that's why I have to delete this square and this square and this one separate square can only be positioned here. Now um, to move on I have to look into this clue again here um, because I only have one square left for this column which has to be positioned here or here. Now I need seven squares for this group here in this section and I have one, two, three, only one square left in this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares left all in all. So that means I can deduce that all of these squares have to be marked. These two squares would have to be marked according to this clue already but that doesn't matter now. Now um, I completed this clue also here. Three squares are marked so I can delete this square and uh, the group of two connected squares has to be completed like this. And this row is also completed. I have one, two, three, four squares already so I can delete this square. So that means the last square for this column has to be positioned here and the group uh, and the puzzle is complete. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in our next video when I will solve puzzle number 16. Bye!